Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping in again and this time we're doing a randomized tainted character. Let's see who we might get. Ooh. I don't think Joseph has a tainted counterpart yet. Um, so this is just the vanilla character, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but we can suck up our sun card here. Um, and play as this little fella. This guy is a pretty interesting character, built entirely around cards. As you saw at the start there, you're able to hold Q to suck up a card, and you gain the effects of that card in one way or another. Uh, but you have a one-third chance of losing those effects of that card when you get hit. So, it's it's pretty interesting. Um, there isn't, uh, the, the character isn't fully developed yet, so, ooh, bombs will spawn, um, something lings and dips. Okay, oh, yeah, that's decent. Um, lemon brownie bombs indeed. Um... Yeah, so there isn't like a full EID description yet because the character's still in development of like what each card does, but it's reasonably okay to get a gist of what they do. Uh, also, we can hold two cards too, which is obviously quite nice. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use the unknown on here. It can be pretty crazy. Ooh, strength would have been a lovely one to suck up. Strength is one of the better ones you can suck up. Same with like the magician stuff, but I think the sun card is also good. I don't remember what it does, um, but I, I, I swear I remember it being decent. So, we'll see. It didn't give us mapping. Um, oh, hello. Oh, these guys, at least these little fellas are new. Little pisslings. Ah, oh, I quite like them. I quite like the pisslings. They seem decent. They seem decent. These bombs, I, I reckon, could be quite good if we get quite a few of them in our roster. Ready to go. Good, good, good. And then we got a moon card, which I think I'm just going to use... I don't want to um, t transform all the cards. Ooh. Um. Okay, good. Good, good, good. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I had to waste a bomb to do it, but I think it was worthwhile. Yeah, so we got the chariot cards using the boss. We got sun card activated. It might do something on killing the boss. Um because of like planetarium soul. Uh, it might be something to do with a full heal. I'm not sure. Um, it's, it's always a little difficult to tell, but we'll use our chariot card here, because this isn't one that I super care for using otherwise. Yeah, there you go. Used a sun card after the boss was killed, like so. Had a feeling that would be the case. Um, got algae's there. That gave us a holy mantle, at least. We can pop that. Take the empress. I don't know what the empress does, but it might just give us the empress's effect permanently, so I think I'll suck that up on the next floor. Um... Boom, bow. Yes, indeed it does. We get speed and damage for a little while here. Really nice, especially with the Holy Mantle. Less chance of losing our card on hits. So we'll be able to keep this for a little while. We quite like that. As for the question of the day today, as for the question of the day today, what's something that you have given up recently? What's something that you've given up? For me, it's been... I, I've kind of spoken about this in my videos before, but for me, it's just been caffeine. I've been... Uh, I, I've given up caffeine over the last year, and it's it's been good. It's been good. I get real sleep now, which is nice. <laughs> and I feel a lot more actually awake rather than artificially awake, which is a positive. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice having the, the sort of freedom of not being sort of shackled to needing. Being in that caffeine loop of like being so tired that you need caffeine, that you drink caffeine and then it gives you a crash. The next day you need caffeine because you're tired. I, I got stuck in that loop for quite quite a number of years and I'm glad that I'm out of it now. Um, makes me feel a lot better. Also, as of the uh, sort of question of the day that I asked yesterday about what to do in terms of quitting Isaac slash slowing down Isaac, I think I've basically decided that once I hit 2,000 hours on Isaac, which is in the next sort of eight or nine episodes, um, it should be, once I hit 2,000 hours, I'm going to slow down Isaac to maybe three times a week. Um, we got Temperance here. Honestly, Temperance, we can go and use that. Um, going to slow it down to maybe three times a week and mix in some other stuff. Uh, people seem generally pretty happy with that idea um, about exploring new games and stuff, so really happy to see that you guys are very supportive and we're all sort of into the idea of taking a break. Pretty much everyone, even the people that are only here to watch Isaac, were, were all saying, yes, if you need a break, take a break. So much appreciate the uh, the support from everyone. I mean, it's it, it, it means a lot. I mean, obviously the, the, the big fear, the sort of the big worry is like, Oh, I'm going to stop doing Isaac and my channel's just going to die. Um, and obviously I don't want that to happen. Um, so it's, it's really nice to see the support for people saying that, yes, I'll still watch some other stuff and we'll still be here uh, regardless, even if Isaac is left less often. So I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm super appreciative that everyone's kind of 
into that idea. And a lot of people said as well, like, that they they kind of don't watch my content for Isaac anymore, which is what I expected, to be fair. I mean, some people still really enjoy the game. Most people that are watching are watching people play it because it's a game they like, but it's more the commentary um, around the game. And a lot of people say that they just kind of stick it on when they go to bed or while they're doing chores or homework or whatever. And obviously, uh, that that works with any game. I, I will say that I will probably switch up my commentary style a little bit on other games because I tend to do this thing where on um, on other games I focus mainly on commentary about the game and Isaac is the main series in which I uh, I mix it up and talk about personal life and stuff like that. Uh, so I, I think it, I'm going to have to bring some of that aspect to other series if I'm not doing it as much in Isaac because I realise that's something that people do enjoy. It's something that I enjoy too because it's kind of like, as I said uh, yesterday, it's kind of like my way of venting certain things even if i'm not venting directly about the thing i want to vent about just talking in general about stuff is a a good way to like vent frustrations and, and just feel better about situations um so yeah i'm looking i'm looking forward to that i definitely think slay the spire is a series i'm going to try because it's a game that i haven't played in a really long time and i really enjoyed my time playing it so i would like to get back into it and i think it's a game that lends itself very well to youtube and it's got a pretty big audience in the roguelike community already so i think that could be a fun game i want to give that a go and, and see uh see how people like it um one thing i will say i'm probably not going to do too much custom thumbnail art for new series just because it is a it is an expense to me and if the series doesn't like last long then it's not a great idea uh but if it's if it's a series that sort of ends up sticking around then i'll look at getting some art commission for the thumbnails i think people kind of agree with that approach generally um uh, we've got enough money to take a look at this toy piano is pretty good here and you know what i'm gonna play you as well you are a bit risky but really gonna take three from me that was worth it. That was very worth it. Okay, very, very happy with that as a decision. And we'll keep it going. We'll keep it going. Good, good. We have pretty good damage right now. And um, Toy Piano is going to be just really, really nice as well for some extra damage. Mainly against bosses, but it will help against regular enemies as well on occasion. At the minute, we're still holding on to um, this Empress card, honestly. Until I get, I think, I think the only one I'd want to swap it for is a Strength or Magician at this point. Um, unless we just lose it naturally. But I'm, I'm liking this situation. The setup we got going on right now is good. The world, again, we can just pop the world. It's a good thing about this. You can just, like, there's a bunch of them that you can just pop. Oh, that was, uh... We lost our card there. That was a pretty bad hit by me. I, I took a full heart of damage. Also, we can use Diffuse in here to get a ton of bombs, I just realised. Gotcha. Yeah, I just saw the outline and was like, oh wait. So I am I am in a risky position with HP right now. Definitely. But bombs be looking pretty saucy. We did just get a wild card there as well, so we know where our secret room is. Definitely going to have to be a little careful, but I am going to try and use my bombs a little more regularly for combat because we have two different bomb upgrades that make them pretty strong. Oh, fuck me. I for some reason wasn't expecting that. Can be thrown a uh, chaos card, permanently charms all enemies it passes through and drops red hearts on use. Interesting. I've not seen that before. Um, probably worth doing this, right? Good. good. Oh, I, that, that didn't do what I thought it was going to do, but it gave us that. I kind of, I think I threw it wrong. <laughs> I don't really know how I how I bungled that so hard. But I did. But as I said, I think I think Isaac, I, I don't want to like fully sort of stop it. It's just one of those games though where I've realized that when I'm not in the mood for it, I don't want to record it. And so lowering the amount that I do of it is fine. 25% uh, damage multiplier. Every new floor, 50% chance to gain a broken heart. Ooh, damn. Um, honestly, as much as the second hand really isn't that good for us right now, I think the extra uh, status effect time being uh, and it being doubled is potentially pretty goddamn good. Obviously, for now we might as well take the uh, the hanged man as its permanent flight for us, which is not a bad thing to have at all. Not a bad thing to have at all. Good, but yeah, I'm hoping we can get a status effect going here. I mean, Play-Doh Cookie right now would be uh, it'd go a long way again. It'd go a long way, you know. Uh, we get a moon card, which I think I'll just save for the next floor for right now. Halo flies. It's it's absolutely fine. It's a little bit of protection. We don't mind that. We don't mind that at all. 
Uh, we should also bomb our way into our uh, into our shop rather than using a key because we've got so many bombs. Also, we can hit this as well now. Donation machine. Wasn't expecting that. Still got to fill that at some point. Good. And in here we have Hive Mind, which I'll probably take. Don't think it's going to do much for us right now, but it is good in general. Good, good, good. Uh, might as well grab some more money and get some more dips and stuff. We've got so many bombs to work with right now, it's, it's worthwhile. In fact, I'm going to buy a card and see what we get. Judgment. Don't think Judgment really does much for us right now. It's a key Judgment as well. I'll bomb you at least. I'll bomb you at least. Yeah, having all these little fellas around is uh, it's kind of nice. They do some good work. Oh my god, why do I keep missing shots that are coming at me at high speed? Apparently that's something that I can't, uh, I can't do well right now. So let's be very careful on this boss, otherwise a one-hit kill could be uh, in the cards for us here. Oh, balls sick. We had to get this guy, didn't we? Luckily, we do have this Doom thing, uh, the Toy Piano, so we should be able to do good damage to this guy. But this guy has a few attacks that I find particularly quite difficult. This being one of them. There you go, we got him, we got him. Synth Oil, good, but I'm really, really looking for, um, for that extra boost to our HP, please, game. I don't actually know what the hang uh, what the moon does, so maybe I'll maybe I'll grab the moon. It, I I reckon it but gives us um something when we go into our secret room. Oh, uh, if actually if I, if I remember correctly, I think it's lunar. I think it's the same effect as Luna. We get an additional secret room, and it has the little beam of light in it. Yeah, this is these this bomb setup's pretty goddamn nice. There's a soul heart as well. Lovely stuff. Yes, indeed it is, Luna. Okay. Awesome. So we get that fire right, and I think we do have another secret room somewhere on this floor because of that as well. So the moon is a pretty good one to grab. The moon's a pretty good one to grab. Emperor. I think Emperor gives us two choices of boss items. We can use that right before the boss if we want to. And that's a reasonably good usage of it. We'll check out this room here. Restarts the current floor. That's that's pretty good. We'll uh, we'll come back to that. I'll probably do that. I will probably do that. Good. Get ourselves into here. God. Rooms are pretty annoying. Oh, that man get that man managed to blow that rock up there. Didn't even know he was explosive. Good, good. Yeah, so look for look for where the next secret room could be. Oh god. I didn't realise this was the case in this room right now. Oh god. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Spiky blocks are giving me the scaries. Give me the scaries indeed. Okay, um, random coins. Lovely. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I've actually almost got enough for the shop to be viable now as well. We like that. Temperance isn't very good for us. I think temperance is actually just worth plopping down here and bombing. Good. Right, we'll do our boss now. Oh! Wait, I think I can still do it. I think I can still do it. Suck up the Emperor card. Suck up that Emperor card and get it going. Should still work here. Yes, we get a choice. Okay, and we take damage. We want more and more damage because we've got the multipliers going. And secret roomy. Secret roomy. Where art thou? The second secret room, at least, which gives us the moon. Which I don't think we can suck up at the moment. Yeah, we can't. But yet another damage upgrade. Lovely. 
Getting a lot of damage upgrades at the moment, and I certainly am not displeased by that. My damage has reached pretty goddamn good levels. Hey, little dippies, don't kill my dippies. Um, we've still got to find our item room, even though we haven't found that yet. Uh, we can go to our shop as well here, as I've said previously. We've, we've been doing really well on consumables. Money and keys and bombs and stuff. We're just killing it on all fronts. Oh, lost our Emperor card there. Not the ideal situation there, but it's okay. Right, back we go. Item Rumi, reveal yourself to me. Ha! The rocks regained and killed him, that's funny. Okay, you're, you're just absolutely toasted, my guy, there you go. Tower card, we definitely don't want that. Secret room could be here. There it is. Luna giving us some good stuff. Unfortunately, Secret Room was pretty pants. Uh, what the fuck just happened? Why'd that guy, like, zoom over like that? What the hell happened there? And we get the D3, which unfortunately, while interesting, I think just isn't really on our docket of things to get. And I think we're just going to go and take the 5 room. Still a little worried about my current level of HP. It's not ideal at all. But we shall prevail. With this so much damage, we should be able to get away with it. Should be able to have ourselves a pretty nice time. I love this character. This character is so interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see when it gets more updates and gets released. Because it's still in development at the moment. It's not on Steam Workshop yet. Can this... I really, really don't like this enemy. Just go away. Stop trying to escape me. Why you always gotta run? Interesting idea for a room there. This guy's regain pretty quick, though. Force us to eat five random pills. Probably not ideal with low HP. If I get um, a thingy bad trip, that could be pretty bad. Oh, really? We got the re-fucking spawning curse again. Good. Pop that. We got Moon again here. Ooh. Hierophant. I think Hierophant I just want to use. I don't even know what happens if you suck that up, but... Moon I'll take. Although I don't think it'll do anything this floor is the only thing with, with the Moon. Pet Rock. Of course, Pet Rock. Um... Oh, Crack Key, how dare you? Luckily I got out on the fucking thingy there. Crack key, it pranked me there. Absolutely pranked me. Honestly, just make a room like this easier. Why not? Gotta remember this gives me flight as well. Useful having flight in a lot of rooms. Where are we getting all these flies from? It's good because we've got hive mind, but I don't know where we got them. Oh, man. Flies kind of screwed me there. Not super happy with my uh, with my play so far. I've not I've not played very well. I've I've got to say I've not played very well at all. Didn't get to my uh, ultra secret room either, which is a bit of a bummer. Oh my god, the respawning curse is is annoying me to a very high degree. Normally, when I get the respawning curse, it doesn't really bother me that much, but this time around, it's very annoying. I kind of forgot that the tower would produce a bunch of uh, bombs that produce all of these guys. Empress is obviously a good one. We'll take that. Extra damage and the like. I don't fucking respawn, please. Oh, what did I just tell you? What did I just say? Shop is here. And in here we got roller film, which is uh, pretty good actually for the situation we're in right now. We got 
Repentance, which is a knife. And then we've also got King of Diamonds, which I don't remember what that does either. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. King of Diamonds, I'll probably pop it in here, yep. King of not bad, not bad. Okie dokie, lots of extra money there. Basically earned everything back I just spent. Very, very good, very, very nice. Mega fatty boy. Oh my god. That was an aggressive jump, Big Papa. That was an aggressive jump. Honestly, you're just going to keep giving me devil deals, are you? Great. That's annoying. Okay. We can keep going. We, we, we shall not get frustrated. We shall not. We shall just accept what this run is giving us. Take the parts of it we enjoy. Leave the other heart parts behind. I do not like this ghosty fella being uh, being part of this room. The fool doesn't really do much for us right now. Unfortunately, we haven't really had an awful lot of good cards. Like our pulls have been pretty pretty meh. There's there's way better cards we could be getting here, and we're just not really getting them. I really would have hoped we'd be getting um, like a magician at some point, a strength card on occasion. Um, more emperor, emperor cards. Best one would be, um, what's it called? Oh, you're healing, aren't you? Yeah. Best one would be getting, uh, a stars card as well, but we're just not really getting them. Ooh, sinus infection's lovely here. We like that. We also very much like that black heart, thank you. The sinus infection. Very, very good. Bugger is always useful. Especially on someone like good old Reap Creep here. Someone that can't teleport away from us and will de-latch them. Remember when they never used to fall off? Now they fall off to 10 seconds, but yeah. It used to be even more of power than it already is. More HP. Okay. At least HP wise, we're feeling a little bit better. Should we go and find the shop? I think we shall. I'm just going to fool card to speed this up a little bit because I can't be asked. Traipsing all the way back. Death. Death doesn't do a whole lot for us, does it? Good. Get that trink out of the way. Still got our status effect thing going on here. First Tinted Rock of the run, which is surprising. Unfortunately, First Tinted Rock yields us no health. But of course, why wouldn't it? It's impossible to not just shoot that thing the moment it spawns in. Every time I just shoot it straight away. Really don't like these ghosties. Yep, really don't like these ghosties. Lovers. Another bomb thing here. Plus five bombs again. And cold is freezing all the enemies in the room. Not bad. Um, I'll pop another card, actually. Justice. Yeah. Okay. We are good to go. Back up to 21 bombs again. Dude, bombs have been great for us here. We just had a lot constantly, and we have a lot of different types of bombs working in conjunction with one another. It's always fun. Got a little hard hat on. Cute. Right, I think we're good to go on this floor. I don't need to clear out every little room. Let's just speed along. To the boss room and away. Yeah, I, I like I like playing as this character. He's a, he's a fun dude and a very, very interesting, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just cool to have a character that's, like, so built around a mechanic that you don't see characters built around very often. I always like that with, with custom characters where they take a, an existing mechanic and build upon it. That's, that's always a fun way to, uh, to mod, I think. Obviously, a lot of modders do do that. But it's always nice to see when, uh, something comes to fruition like this. Is that not it? That is it, good. Oh, there's a card back over there, I don't even know what it is. Temperance, bloody hell. All that walking for a goddamn temperance. That made that room rather easy. I do like that cold card. It's, it's, all, all of the uh, cards from Community Remix are very, very overpowered, in my opinion. 
They're all very strong. We finally got a stars card. Um, I, I will lose some damage for this, but once I find my item room, I'll, uh, I'll pop the stars card to get a choice of items. I think that's very valuable, to be honest. Could, get, could yield us a very, very good item. Save us from something that's an active item or just something that's playing bad. Alright, there's Mum. Oh, what the hell? I did not know that you did that, good sir. I did not know that you did that. Yeah, these cards are just insanely common. It's ridiculous. I really wish they'd turn it down. But apparently, the Community Remix developer is like on hiatus at the moment, so probably not going to happen anytime soon. It is a little frustrating. Because it's like, I like modded stuff, but I also want it to keep, like, within balance of the game. But at the same time, I'm also not going to use stuff that drops just because I think it's overpowered. Because that just complicates the game, being like, oh, I'm not going to use that. There's certain things that I do pull away from, but a lot of it's just kind of, yeah. I'd rather just use it if it's there sort of thing. Back off. Where is our item room? I'm not entirely sure. I kind of wish I had a teleport card other than the stars to go along with it, because then I could just do the boss while I have the extra damage. That would have been the better way to do it, really, wouldn't it? Oh my god. Yeah, but at the minute, I think the series I'm thinking of bringing back uh, a Peglin. I, I always like enjoy jumping back into Peglin after a while, and it has been sometimes I last played it had quite a few updates. So Peglin would be fun. Um, I think Slay the Spire, as I've mentioned, is a fun one to try out. And potentially taking a look back at Voidiger, or maybe just trying something entirely new, um, could be could be good as well. There's a lot of like there's there's. Bal Balatra or whatever it's called, which everyone's hyped about at the minute. I don't know if it's my sort of game from the gameplay that I've seen, but it might be worth just visiting and giving it a go sort of thing. Good. good. Right, stars card, pop that. And oh, I didn't even know it was Cast of the Blind. Fuck, fuck's sake. I mean, we got the better of the two, actually, and we, we got Beelzebub out of that, so... Wasn't wasn't all bad, to be honest. Wasn't all bad at all. Still, though, that is a little annoying. <laughs> Fool card. I'm not sure what that is. Control... Take control of a random enemy in the room. Eh, that's not super useful. We got, we got an empty heart somewhere in here, though. I see it. Bitch, where? There's an empty heart in this room somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Because it's fucking see-through. There it is. We got him. We got him. Jumper cables. Definitely not bad at all here. I quite like jumper cables for us right now. Right, it's boss time. We've lost some speed somehow. Why did we lose speed? I thought we were at 1.0 speed. I feel slower. Maybe Beelzebub gives us speed down, but that would be weird, right? Yeah, it's nice to have Beelzebub here. Unfortunately, the Stars card is going to be pretty useless after this. I guess I'll suck up this Fool card. I honestly don't remember what the Fool card actually does. So it's not super useful to suck up, but I'll give it a go. Okay, we've got Red Mum. Of course, one of the more annoying ones. Especially with uh, Sinus Infection as one of our main damage dealers. Makes that pretty useless, sadly. It's going to jump into my uh, my BBF at some point and cause one hell of an explosion. Dude, what's with all the eyes, man? I thought this was Foot Mum. Also, what the f- uh, is that- is this just to get out of the room? Is that what that, that portal is from Fool Card? I guess I'll go with this. A 
A lump of coal. I haven't got any money for anything else. I say that. Oh, you... F that fly is a big old sack of shit. Hunter's Journal. I do not know what the Hunter's Journal does, but it caused a black hole. Summons a dark charger when charger dies, activates a black hole. Interesting. So if I go through this, where do I go? Um. Hmm. This doesn't seem correct. It also seems to have just led me into a normal room. I'm very confused. Come on, bitch. Head up. There was... Oh, I, I still have the ghost, okay. Hermit. I guess. Oh, we unlocked something. Which, again, I don't know how that works, because I'm supposed to have everything already unlocked. At least I thought I was. Oh, wow. That was a interesting hit you got on me there, good sir. I mean, we're keeping the ghosts alive somehow. I'm honestly not too sure as to how, but we are. Digaz, very nice here. Health has been low the entire time, but we're making our way through. Okay, managed to get ourselves a free uh, item here. Yeah, like, we're, we're getting unlocks here that we should already have. Is there a, a Samuel? No, there isn't. It basically, it's supposed to be this con console command here, but it doesn't seem to work. Um, it's supposed to just un it says unlock all achievement for every registered mod. It's supposed to just unlock everything, but it doesn't seem to work. I don't know why. Either way, that was uh, interesting. Full card did us some good there, I guess. Dropped us back off at the boss and we're uh, down to the next floor. What curse we got here? I do have the other curses to turn off. Curse, yeah, see, curse the Emperor again. This game's so frustrating. I turned off the curses. And the, the developer told me, turn off the curses, make sure to restart the game. And I did exactly that. And it's just still hasn't worked. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. Good, good. I was hoping that would shortcut us. Somewhere or another. Justice? I don't know what Justice does as a sucked up item. More drops at the end of a room, perhaps? Doubled room drops? Something along those lines? That's what I'd expect. Oh, that was very close. Two near misses there. Hey, there you go. Good shortcut. That was good shortcut. Ooh, thank you. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, Burn Spare's doing a great job killing those guys. Yeah, it definitely has extra room drops. Hermit doesn't really matter for us anymore. There's a lot of room drops right there. God damn, we wrecked this guy. And all we get for it is a measly luck penny, which isn't going to be very good. A trinket still hasn't come into use yet, unfortunately. Still got no status effects. Even though they'd have like four times duration, which would be amazing. Um, spawning dips from, yeah, look penny. See, we just got our boss item in a random drop. Yeah, I'm just going to bomb out of this room. I can't be ass dealing with you guys. You're annoying. I don't want to deal with them. I'm going to pop this to try and shortcut somewhere.
Doesn't always work, we can give it a go. Hanged man, we've already got flight locked in, so we don't need to worry about that. We're kind of speeding through the rooms here, to be honest. Unfortunately, our shortcutting was not as short-cutty as I would have liked. Up, oh, spider boy. Oh my god, I didn't realize you still exploded when you were a spider. My bad, I guess. Okay, burn spares just help us out here. A collection of burn spares to kill things as they arrive would be nice. Hanged man and hanged man. The hanged man. The hanged, the hanged, the man, the man. Get away from your laser eyes. Back up this way, I guess. Oh no, this is the goddamn room I bombed out of in the first place. Fuck you. Ugh, I'm stupid. Just thought this would be a dead end. I have short term memory loss. I think every Isaac player has short term memory loss, to be fair. Everyone does that sort of thing. Constantly. Again, good, but yeah, I think full count just gives us a chance to get bonus drops on room clear. It's not a guarantee. Yeah, there you go. Look, look at that. So much stuff. Still, we have been riding on very low HP for a very long time. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, honestly. I have literally no idea. Yeah, but I've been riding with super low HP for like the entire run. It's mostly been fine, but I am a little worried for when it's not fine. <laughs> Chariot? I don't know what Chariot does. I'll take it. Ah, it gives us Taurus, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, thanks, big boy. I mean, you got rid of my card at least there, but... Right, we can play the arcade. Ooh, small rock, yes please. Mum's box I don't think is very good, but I don't even know if anything else. So I'll try and see what's underneath it. Or I won't. Good, good. Ooh, to be fair, we can get an additional card out of uh, out of this guy. What card is that? That's three cards. Magician's there, so we'll definitely be taking that. Chariot. Oh, beautiful stuff. Wow. Good, good. Now we have permanent herming, which is very, very nice. Pretty big upgrade for us. Okay, just be careful with these little heart things. I don't even know what they are. Hearts? Tumors? Uh, who bloody knows? Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, that's, that's one of the new curses as well. I think it's something to do with this mod that shows the curses over the trapdoors that's causing issues. Uh, the, the, the mod developer for Eclipse did mention something about that. But yeah, it's just annoying that like, I keep disabling them in the console commands and it's just like, nope. I don't mind the curses, but there's a few of them that, I'm, that are not my favourite. Of course I lost my fucking card, my magician card on the first hit. One in three chance I lose it on the first hit. I would like a refund, please. And I might as well take this in for now. I especially don't like this. Good, good. Now I have no idea. No idea where to go, though. Nowhere near how to go is almost what I said there. I'm going the wrong way, clearly. Back this way again. My little box dude's taking my pennies. I reckon he's going to pay out with something at some point. Hello, good sir. Wasn't expecting you at this hour. 
That was a terrible fucking bomb. Oh, can you stop moving away as soon as I bomb, please? He just keeps doing it. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, we're being absolutely saved right now by um, Roll of Film, whatever it's called, that's making us take less damage when we're under three hearts. That has been a, a saving grace for us for some time now. <laughs> Who goddamn knows what hit me there? So much money, just like nowhere to spend it right now. Should have just let my little dude take it, shouldn't I? Chance on taking damage to gain one half black heart. That's kind of interesting. It depends on the chances, though. It's always the, the case with those trinkets, where it's like chance. It's like you could mean one percent. That's a chance. It's not useful to me, though. I need to know what that chance is to, to assess whether I want to use your trinket or not. If it's like twenty percent chance, it's pretty goddamn good. But I doubt it is. Right, unfortunately, I went big wrong way here. I went for this, for the spectral, and the fire rate increase. Oop, I got an email. Lovely stuff. Ooh, hello. Hello, hello. Right, this, yeah, this has been a, a weirdly not, and it's not a very struggle bush run, but it's been just a run that's like, been lacking. Especially in the health department, so it's interesting. Ooh, hello. Extra soul heart, we, we don't mind that. Hanged man again. Again, cards have just not been the best to us. Devil. That's good. We will take a devil card. It's not a ton of extra damage, but extra damage it is. Why, whenever I have a good card, do I lose it on the first hit? It's a one in three chance. All my other fucking cards I don't lose straight away. It's well annoying. That still hit me, okay. Anyhow. Right, we've got plenty of keys to work with here. Last floor, baby. Can we keep this together? We got a forget me now, which I think I'll just use straight away. Uh, will I use it straight away? I'm gonna try and get a better card first, actually. Potentially some items as well, actually. Good old jumper cables giving us some extra charges. Wheel of Fortune isn't it. Just give me a strength card and have done with it, please. Oh my god. This guy's an absolute pain in the ass. Golden bombs. Oh my god, what is going on in this room? Bernhardt, nice. Wow, the scissors! How beautiful, how hurtful for us. My god. I'm just dropping bombs everywhere in the hopes that I get kills. We've got plenty of dips to work with now because of all these bombs though, which is nice. Still, no better card though. 
a bit miffed about. Did he just second phase, or are you first phase as well? I, I can't tell. Luckily, we don't have to fight this guy very often anymore. I know, he was, he was uh, first phase. God damn, it takes so long. It just pisses us, ab pisses us about. Hero font. I think, honestly, we might just go straight for the boss rather than doing Forget Me Now. At this stage. At this stage, I think we have enough, and I think the golden bombs are, like, super, super useful, so let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Wow, that did, like, so little damage. Just keep firing. The, the ghosts and the poops are doing a marvellous job. Oh shit. You're going for it, good say. You're going for it. The, the type of shots we have, the curvy shots, aren't the best for moving bombs around, which is annoying, but it's going well otherwise, I think. My bombs are doing a great job. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. A lot of fun. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.